interact with chat? No, not at all. And I put the I put a command in um, exclamation point interview. Oh, okay. Um, and it says that we're not going to be paying attention to chat because we're trying to stay present. But uh, and so I might not even have so you could just like even see yourself. We're just gonna. Just make sure that we're rolling and we're live and whatever. Anyway, um, I want to—I don't want to edit this too much, so I'm gonna <laughs> jump right into this. Um, today we're talking with uh, theologian Gustavo Gonzalez. Are you technically a theologian? Is that—is that the title for someone who has their bachelor's degree in religious studies? Is that your—is that—is is it a theology degree or a religious studies degree? Uh, it's a degree in religion, so technically it's not theology. Oh really? Yeah. What what is the difference? Uh, if I had a theological degree, it would mean that I was studying things to become, like X, Y, or Z. Right. So I want to become, I want to be join a a monastery, like a Christian monastery. Like I'm studying how to become like, you know, a monastic, whatever. If you were studying theology. Yeah. Um. Yeah. My uncle studied theology, but didn't. But, but but who knows? Maybe he didn't have a direct degree in, in it like like uh like you do. Okay, so re- what does it mean to have a degree in religion? Uh, well, so I studied like world religions, mm-hmm. and so mm-hmm. um, you're studying like the philosophical aspects, like anthropological aspects. Mm-hmm. Um, it's very uh, it's it's more of a broad sense of like. Studying, studying it objectively, um, versus, yeah, for, yeah okay, yeah, that word, that, that's the, the key word there, okay. Yeah, it's objective, versus, mm-hmm. right, like, oh, I want to become a priest, you know, I want to become, like, you know, work as a clergyman or something, mm-hmm. or, mm-hmm. What, what do they call the person at, at, at this hospital? Chaplain? Chaplain, yeah. That's what John Green wanted to become. Before. Really? Right. That's what he studied to become, I think, for a while. I mean, he was a chaplain for a bit, like a chaplain in training. Does he have brothers? John Green? Yeah. John Green's bro- brother is Hank Green. Yeah, because I, recently I saw, like, a crash course on something, and right. it was Hank, and I'm like... Who's Hank? I know, that's a joke in the comments. Is we'll it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, yeah. They who's Hank? so similar. They do. They say, who's John and who's Hank, and who's Hank isn't, but yeah. It's it, very common. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It threw me off. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, a that's, common thing, yeah. I was like, was I getting it? Was I thinking John incorrectly the whole time? Like, yeah. And I googled like who wrote Fault in Our Stars, and it was right. I was like, oh yeah, it is John. Yeah, and Hank's an author now too. Wow. And I read his book. It's good, like his fiction book. Like yeah. it's good, very good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, wow. It, it's amazing how on interview on live how stupid you become because uh, I just like wanked on the top, and I I like the book a lot. And, yeah. Uh, um, and it's really embarrassing because I'm huge fans of theirs. Huge fans of theirs. I mean, those two are the vlog brothers. They're the vlog brothers, those two. But uh, this isn't about them. This is about you. This is, but uh, this is very. But it is interesting that you mentioned this. That's funny. Yeah. Um, recently, yeah. It, recently. Yeah. What crash course did you watch? Um, maybe some like problem of evil type thing. Oh, oh, that's a, oh, that's good. Like that, yeah. yeah. Interesting. I thought that John ha- handles that or those kinds of questions. Yeah. Maybe something else. So. Yeah, I don't know. Um, interesting, interesting. No, I love Crash Course. I'm a huge fan of Crash Course. I'm a huge fan of Vlog Brothers. Um, uh, and uh, John is is uh, is uh, wanting to be a clergyman. And uh, yeah, similar to some people that I'm fans of, they uh, want to become like they thought they were going to be involved in the thing. So I guess they would have theology degrees. Yeah. Um, like uh, Mr. Rogers thought he was, I think, going to be a, become oh. in the become a. Uh, there's a word for being in the uh, in the service of God, I guess. But uh, I I don't know. Uh, but in the church and thought he was going to have a religious profession. Yeah. yeah. Um. Wow. Uh, like within with it, but it, it's so funny. Like you said, in the clergy, that, that's that's so different. It's like a religious professions, and then there's that are secular, I guess. Right. And then yeah. then there's ones that are like like working within the church. Yeah. Other, right. Working within service. So like, I, like, yeah, it's weird, but that's a very, very important distinction is clergy versus that. Okay. That's really interesting. Gus. Yeah. Thanks for clarifying that. No yeah. problem. Yeah. And, and you think like, um, yeah. uh, you wouldn't even need to go to school for something like that. Yeah. For theology. Right. That like whatever church you decide to, you know, want to represent or want mm-hmm. to work for. Right. I don't know what you call it. Right. Be in service for. Yeah. 
um, like they would have kind of their own classes or like their own like teaching methods or mm -hmm. like um, but they don't but yeah I guess no okay. no they don't they go to college yeah they go to college they get bachelor's yeah. degrees like from accredited schools so weird. and they and in order to become in, into the clergy you actually need to have one of those kind of degrees uh, for some of them for some jobs for some of them I think so really yeah. within Catholicism probably yeah. really really like yeah. the priesthood like if you want to go even higher up and like become, I don't know, like a cardinal or something. Mm, cardinal. Mm -hmm. I, I feel like you, yeah, you would definitely need, like, credentials, I mean. Right. That's fascinating. Really, like, like from an accredited college, like, you need, like, this guy didn't get enough credits to get into this school. Yeah. That's weird, man. I know. Yeah, you would not expect that. You thought it would be some kind of, like, like, deifying thing, like, this person, you know, like, it, like, like, you did it, like, you know, it, and... Look, I don't, I, I don't think it's the same within e the Eastern school, right? Like, I'm pretty sure in order to be, become Dalai Lama, you don't need to have a degree. Yeah. But uh, within the, wi within what I would consider your specialty, your interest, which is Western, which is Ju uh, Judeo Christian, Judeo Christian religions, Abrahamic yeah. religions. Yeah, yeah, Abrahamic. Um, is uh, that's uh, the case though? Is this accredited kind of like formal, formal yeah. kind of uh, thing, which is fascinating. That's great. I know. Yeah. Okay. And two, uh, like, very separate things, you know, like, uh, you, you don't really, um... I'm going to record off my phone just as a backup. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, you don't really, uh, like, they, they sound, like, interchangeable. I mean, they do. But, like, you're learning very different things. I mean, I, like, you, you can almost argue that, like, even the theology degree mm -hmm. in, like, something, uh... Mm -hmm is a good way, like, I'm, now I'm thinking about it in, like, an anthropological way, where it's, like, uh, they call it, um, like, you're, like, a participant observer, mm -hmm. they call it. It's, like, oh, I'm observing, let's say, Catholicism mm -hmm. by participating in Catholicism, you right. know, by, like, like, acting it, mm -hmm. um, and embodying whatever it is to be a Catholic, uh, and so I feel like that's a great way to learn, too. Um, but, yeah, you, you just don't get the broad sense of, like, you, you just have to pick one, you know, and dedicate your life to it. Denomination? Yeah. You can't, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, can't switch up. Yeah. Yeah, 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 throughout. Okay. Um, it's, uh, it's so funny. It's so easy to... I've never had this like a formalized conversation with you about this, but I've wanted to have a formalized conversation with you about this. And um, I excuse that, like you know, just my my amateurness about uh, even this. Like you went take a sip, I took it close to the mic so you could hear the slurp. No one wants to hear that. Um, but even uh, my abilities here, like I'm not as good of an interviewer as I want to be for this conversation. So we're gonna have to have it again at some point. Oh, sure. Um, and I, it's it's tough. It's tough being an interviewer is very difficult, is, even yeah. when it's your best friend. Um, because I'm not just gonna start like talking about whatever. No, no, we're focused on something, and I, and it's good, and it's good, and it's difficult, and it's hard, and it's good. Yeah, it's good, but it's yeah, you're not just gonna be just chatting. Um, which I mean, you know, uh, you uh, are are, uh, you know, just background on you, you are uh my best friend and uh one of my just no like you know favorite people of all time, you know, right. <laughs> you know. Uh, favorite humans. I mean, period. Like, <laughs> like. Uh, Don't let yeah. your wife hear that. Hey. Um, <laughs> uh, you know, it's it's very interesting. Is um, to even bring that back into uh, just background. And you know, we you know we've we, we've done so much different different stuff before before this. And um, you were always. You've always been my favorite creator. One of my just basically one of the. Best. It's so rare for me to find somebody who I click so well with creatively. That's why I like beg you to do stuff with me all the time because you just, I've worked with a lot of people and you're just so incredibly special in that way. You're a very special person in that way. So you're very, I don't know, you just, uh, you are a creative person and also, so this is very interesting. You're a creative person. You're, but you and you went into to, to this to this uh, to this to this field of study and all that. Um, as well, uh, I think that's very interesting. It, rather than picking something creative, why? Uh, well, to me, that's almost like something creative. Mm, okay, why? Um, well, uh, this might sound I don't know, 
Uh... <laughs> yeah, no, if it sounds silly... Oh, oh, okay. Okay, I see what you're saying. Okay. Yeah. I actually get what you're saying before you're saying that. Okay. Yeah, yeah a little bit. Yeah, because... Okay. I, I mean... You could think about how to, how to word that. It's okay. I'm trying to be polite about how of I course, word this. Of yeah. course, yeah. Um, like... Take your time. There's no rush. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, so, so a lot of, uh, like, the mythology itself... You already know what I'm going to say. I do. <laughs> Believe me. We're, there's a reason we're best friends, right? I mean... <laughs> I mean, we're just not... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, um... It's, uh... Okay, like, you can express yourself creatively. Uh... <laughs> Let me backpedal a little. <laughs> You know, I, I sometimes wonder, you know, I, I think about this idea that, uh, it's, it's so funny, I, 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 I want people to learn about the theology stuff, but I hope that you'll do this again with me sometime uh, as yeah, well, yeah, of course. I think it's going to take a couple tries before we get it right, Sure. sure. but I think it's very helpful for people, but it's, uh, there's something uh, interesting that, uh, you know, uh, there's people who said, like, you know, I'm a big fan of the Andrew uh, Huberman's podcast, I've sent you a couple, um, mm-hmm. You've heard, you've heard clips? Of yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Um, he has some opinions about, like, share, how much you share, right? Yeah. And um, uh, Lex Freeman has commented on it. Naval has commented on it, how much you share. And they've all talked, like, Lex Friedman, who's an AI expert, um, has talked to Naval, you, who you Naval, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, about it. And, like, they all have opinions about how much, who, the guy you put out there into the world, right? And uh, Naval says, you know, you don't put, you, you know, you have yourself, and the best part is you have the dual identity that one. And Les says, no, you put yourself out there, right? And then, um, and Huberman says, uh, Dr. Huberman says, he says, um, he says, it's possible to be yourself without oversharing, right? Yeah, yeah. And but there's the, the funny thing is that it's like no matter the art or speaking, even it's hard even for us not to be ourselves, like, in the art, in anything, in the speaking, and I think that even if you wrote an essay about it, mm-hmm. and you were really polite, you could sense the moment, that kind of <laughs> moment of politeness kind of would strike. Yeah. The truth is, is that people are revealed through art, like, no matter what, speaking, expression. You, you can't hide. Yeah. You can't hide, and people, can, and, and, and you can feel the ingenuineness, like, I think immediately, I, that's my theory. Yeah. I think. And, uh... You know, and they, and they, so there's no hiding, you know what I mean, in some ways. And, you know, we're not out here, you know, doing anything that's, that's heinous or anything like that. Or, um, I believe, uh, you know, this conversation, if we can't have this conversation without fear, then something is wrong. Mm. Yeah, okay. That's right. I agree with that. Right. Yeah. You're with me on that, right? Yeah. And you're all, because you're all about expression and and all of that as well. And uh, it always comes out some, some way, and there's always something, right? And so, you know, politely to say this, you know, like we, I was a very religious person growing up, and I have grown to be not as relig- not religious. Uh, I, I had my periods of being very, like actively not religious, and then, um, and then, na- then becoming like inactively non-religious and then coming around to being like oh there's many ways to understand the same thing Mm -hmm. and being like coming to that like and not being annoying (laughs) and uh and just being like oh there's like people can be multi-dimensional ideas can be viewed from many different angles and you know you could talk and you know there's value in certain in, in things in everything and even things that you may not have thought there were value before right and so it's hard because you, it, is it okay that it's out there that, you know, you're non, a non-religious person? Yeah. Yeah, yeah you know, and yeah. so, and, and so that maybe that kind of plays into this, right? Yeah. That's kind of what, what, what you were trying to kind of get at. And so let's go back to this creativity thing then. This is a tough thing. It's a tough thing to talk about maybe a little bit. So, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah how does it relate to theology? I, I'm actually thinking about, um, you know, you being religious at one point yeah yeah and yeah. yeah yeah go for it you letting it go yes um and wow i didn't expect this conversation to take this turn this is great yeah yeah, 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 yeah. and yeah. that's actually like pretty fascinating yeah like you have this whole belief system sure you know, you know that you're just like this is 
uh, a part of my reality. Uh -huh. you know? Yeah, yes, yes. And, and you, you you like shelve it. Right? You're like, okay, that doesn't apply to me anymore. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. That in doing that, it almost demonstrates to me like how easy it is for somebody to just see that uh -huh. and do the opposite. You know, like right. pick it up and be like. Yeah. This is my reality. Like, yeah. This is my whole world. It was earth shattering losing it. Yeah. By the way. Or, it was or, earth, or earth forming too. You yeah. Know? yeah. Like, yeah. I mean, my reality was broken. I was a broken person for a couple days. Like for yeah. a couple weeks there. I was, I, my mind was a mess. Yeah. Mess. I was a whole mess. It was when I took the philosophy course and I was mm -hmm. confronted with ideas that I didn't quite understand. And yeah. like just confronted with Descartes and confronted with like, with Nietzsche and really probably not misunderstood. I still don't think I ever understood Nietzsche, but mm -hmm. what he said is like, you know, he said certain things and then they seem to imply certain things. And like, yeah. and I was like, at, at 18, I was like, what? You know, and, and then, uh, that was, you know, uh, I was 19. I was, uh, you know, I was like, what? What the heck? <laughs> what does that mean? Um, uh, and I was really confused and um, it was hard. It was really hard. Um, yeah, like and, even within the the structure of your reality, like this whole Christian reality, mm -hmm. it was um, it was trampled over, you know, and like by these other texts and these other right. ideas. I went to Catholic school. And you went to Catholic school for college. Yeah, yeah. And that's where it was. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's just it, it, it's like a, so amazing mm -hmm. that like to be able to just throw out like this, you know. Like, oh. You say it very blase. I know, I know, I know, I know. It's not. I mean, I, you're messing with me a little bit. But yeah, 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 yeah. Did you open that can without me telling you that was okay, too? Oh, that was for I, you. It was for you, yeah, it definitely yeah. was. I was going to ask you about the tap. Uh, oh, anyway, yeah, you're saying you can't. No, I didn't just throw it not, out. Not throw it out, but I, like. All right, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> like, so I, I, like I, I'm, I'm just. I'm fascinated with the fact that mm. you can believe something with and, your whole heart, with the yes. entirety of your heart, and then not believe it. At some point. At some point. And, and like, the opposite. Like, yes. Go back. Go go back. Or, like, uh, like to believe something mm -hmm. with your whole heart. Right. Like, it's just as easy, you know? And, and, and like, humans, like, uh, humans are, like, fickle, you know? Or almost, it, it feels like. It's mm. like... And malleable, you know, mm -hmm. like like I, I didn't growing up. I didn't like I'd watch The Simpsons a lot, mm -hmm. and The Simpsons, you know, they take their cracks at religion. They right? do, yeah. And um, I, you know, I kind of grew up on that, and like I had an aunt who was like staunch Catholic, mm -hmm. and it just Lowly didn't family. Yeah, mine, just, mine, mine too. Yeah, it just never resonated with me. Yeah, yeah. and. It always resonated with me. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Wow. yeah even to say, I'm very taken by that sort of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Taken, like, you know? Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, yeah. Because yeah. I just, I, like, growing up, I didn't understand how you could um, be that invested in XYZ religion. Right. Uh, like, any organized religion, for that matter, besides Catholicism. And, and to, to, to see how easy it is to discard it from right. people. Right. Like, I, I understand now how easy it is to adopt it into your life. Mm -hmm. And and because we're like, psychologically, we're just so weak-minded. You, know? you know, I mean, like... No, I know what you're saying. Too. Yeah, yeah. It, no, no, it's malleable. Right. Yeah, I disagree with some points here. Like, I don't think fickle... I don't think people are actually fickle about it. I think it's actually really hard yeah. to change, especially in adulthood and especially something that's been changed... I think that it all comes down to like I don't know, how like they talk about pla how plastic your brain is or whatever and all that stuff whatever malleability is I think is the right word right mm -hmm. it's like I don't think people are fickle fickle back because you take it really seriously right and you take it so seriously but it's crazy to be like so serious and then see someone five years later and just be like he's not so serious about it that's what I mean like, yeah I, I don't when I say fickle I don't mean like tonight you're this and tomorrow you're not right I, I just mean like. Yeah, no, we're, we're talking about like, we're yeah. talking about yeah. like the how the world works and how your universe works. Yeah, and and to me, 
to, to discard an idea that massive even after five years even, even after 20 years it's uh-huh. fickle to me yeah yeah okay this is your reality this is your this, reality this is your oh, perceived that's that's reality that's a really interesting point that's that's what i'm trying to get at mm-hmm. yeah. Like, yeah, yeah yeah you can just discard your whole world almost you know yeah yeah, yeah. And, and and just one day decide well i guess that was an illusion or i guess that's just what you know <laughs> I'm just trying to make you laugh. It's really <laughs> bad. No, that's it. It is. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Yeah. Just that. That to me, I don't know. That that impacts me a lot. <laughs> just, just. You can almost like shop around. Like, well, now this is my new reality. You know, or like. Yeah, you can in the marketplace of ideas. Yeah. Yeah, 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 right. Yeah, that's interesting. So, what does that have to do with creativity, though? Well, it's an expression. Like you're, you're kind of. What's an expression? You choosing, like. Oh. Be, oh. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, interesting. Right. You're, you're choosing to be. Whatever. Agnostic. You're choosing to become. Like. Uh, Buddhist. Whatever. Uh huh. That like is a direct expression of like who you are. Like. Okay. What you believe, like, uh-huh. in, like, oh, it. Mm-hmm. Sorry, I'm trying to find the words here. No, no, and I can help. I, I, if you just tell me if I'm wrong here, but yeah, I, I kind of am, I'm understanding this idea that what you're saying is, and this is a really difficult conversation, but I feel like it's so productive. It's so hard and pr- but so productive because it's so serious and so focused, and it wouldn't happen anywhere but on this. So I'm really glad we're having it, and it's very difficult. Yeah, and it's I, that's what makes it good. That's what makes it interesting, and because um, other times we would just give it up. We're just like, oh, okay, we're talking about it now. Ah, let's joke about this. Uh, let's joke about that. You know, but right now we're not. We're like, hey, now we got to do this. We got to figure this out. And and the thing is, what you're saying is, is that because you you like someone who who knows you very well, you think that life, your life is a form is a is an art piece, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, like, you said that to me. Right? Yeah, yeah. Right, life is art. Your actions are art. This is expression, right? Which they are. Yeah. Which they are, right? Uh, you're expressing yourself. And it, it, like if we agree to a term, like, you know, we have friends that I've gotten into arguments with about about art, but friends, I mean, they don't talk to me, so who cares? They don't talk to any of us. <laughs> but like, you know, what is art? It's expression, right? Yeah. Like it's not, it's not, it's not a airy thing, idea, right? Yeah. So art is expression, right? And so you're saying in choosing a lifestyle, yeah. a belief system, a philosophy on like, a set of morals, a belief system, that is a form of expression. Yeah, totally. And that in itself is your, it, what you're doing is is to saying like, this is my art style of life. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Oh, that's really exactly. like fascinating. That's a very complex idea Gus, yeah. uh, that you're talking about. <laughs> um, that's a very, that's kind of a little, a little nutty. A little nutty. No, the, 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 how complicated it is. I uh, know. It, yeah. it's um it's very fascinating and I think wow. Wow. Whoa. Yeah, and whoa. Okay, go ahead. And there's a lot of like applications to art, like physical art that tie back to, you know, religion, which is yeah. really, which is really Oh awesome. yeah, 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 yeah. That's a good point. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Point. Okay, interesting. Like um you know, but there's there's all these Renaissance paintings, you know, of like angels and you know yeah, and, yeah, and yeah Christ and you know yeah like all sorts of things like oh you, yeah Buddha painted and or sculpted whatever you know and and you think like oh well like what's the point of that like what's the point of the art like why am I gonna paint Moses you know sp- like splitting a body water you know and um it like it communicates like an idea, you know. It's it's communicating like the story, like this, like um, the the myth, you know. For somebody who doesn't know, can just come up and and see that and like the, okay, like there's a dimension. Okay, um, how do I put this? Uh, one of the, the dimensions to like a religion mm-hmm. is uh, the experiential dimension mm-hmm. where it's like what you're experiencing. Okay. Uh, and 
So it's like you walk into a church and you see like the stained glass windows, you know, in a Christian church. Sure, sure. Uh, and you Which see, is an art piece in itself. Yeah, you see like the, I'm taken by that stuff. Right. By, by the architecture. Yeah, it's on uh, purpose, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like the ceiling you can't even reach. You know, like it's all like oh purposeful. Ah, yeah. oh, oh my god. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and um, I like. Ah, I'm losing my train of thought here. That's okay. Um, I was talking about the art. So you're saying here? I'm sorry, I interrupted you. That the architecture yeah. is there, and um, so you were saying that it's a part of dimension. It's experiential. Yeah, and so okay, right. So you'll see like a pain, thank you. You'll see like a painting of something and be yeah. like, okay, well, uh, I'm engaging more of my senses here. Right. You know, um, like I can, it helps me with my faith. Right. In, in, in exposing myself to this and consuming like physical media, physical art mm -hmm. like that. It helps me with my faith. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It, um, which, oh Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, like... Oh! <laughs> like, there's... Okay. Yeah, 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 right. Um, like, there's a... What's, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, it's a... Like, I, okay, like, there's a, there's a point to it. Like, there's... Okay, um... Damn, I'm like mixing up all my thoughts here. It's okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna do this again. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You need it. It takes practice. It does. And it's hard. And people don't ask me this stuff either, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because they're not interested. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. you're a good listener. Yeah. You're a great listener. Thanks. You're a great listener. And I, and, um, and, uh, that's, uh, really too bad <laughs> that, that you are. Because you should, uh, I think actually it's a disservice to you. Mm. that you're such a great listener because you because you, uh and i think that's i've said i've explained this to you before this concept of like your energy and how you feel not energized after something social right? yeah right and i think it's because you're not expressing yourself enough right? yeah and I'm you're like rusty and uh -huh. you're you're an ex i mean you're literally blocked by doing that right and you are an artistic person and you are an expressive person mm -hmm. but you for some reason you hold it back and and to, to placate people or whatever but then i think you lose the energy but you deserve to put this stuff out there and this is why this conversation is so important because i hear so many stupid comments about of someone's major right the major of theology or the major of religion why would someone do the what are you gonna do? Be a priest? You, I've heard it. We've heard it together. We've all hung out together and heard yeah. it, right? And so we're I, this get get like it could get sensitive, whatever, right? You know, we've heard people say stupid things. You know, people say dumb things. What are you gonna do with that? You've gotten that question, right? What are you gonna do with that? Yeah, you, you've gotten it, right? All the time. All the time. Yeah, yeah. All the time. I hear it all the time. Well, I don't even bring it up. What are you? Right. Yeah. Why? And and it's um they will never listen to this, because they're not interested, and that's fine, right? And and I don't need them to. Um, but I want to know, right? And so, like, they need to shut up right now. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. like I don't want. This is a reason they're not in this room or anything like that. Because I want to know, right? Right? What is experiential dimension? What? Is, oh, they it helps them with their faith. I didn't really understand why is someone painting. You know, your your uncle is a is, a, is an incredible artist. I mean, yeah, incredible artist. I would love to have just some of his stuff come up, just put up here. I would I would have I would have his stuff up in this room. Honestly, I just thought about that. I would love to put up yeah, something like that yeah, picture for it. I do, I do, um, and I'll develop this space as time goes on, but this, he, he has this beautiful picture of Christ, um, looking into, it's like the abyss, Yeah. and yeah. it's, it's, I literally have it burned into my brain, like, it's so gorgeous, like, it's a very beautiful, a beautiful painting, Yeah. and, um, he's looking down, and I remember, I was like, I was just getting, like, when I looked at it, I was like, getting evoked, evoked feelings, like, oh, look, it's like the river Styx or something, yeah, right, yeah, like, yeah, or something, yeah. I was like, whoa, and then, then I remember when I read the Bible, like read the like re I never read the Bible all the way through like you have, um, uh, which is very cool that you've done that. Um, uh, that you do, that you do stuff like that. Uh, like you're able to like sit with something and finish through. That's a great quality of of your of your patience with with things. Um, Thanks. I just uh, have to learn how to you know 
R retell it. <laughs> you, you, yeah, get it. Yeah, you need to just you need to express yourself in general. Like you're yeah. just a person that needs to do that. Like you yeah. need to do more of it, and you just need to because the world deserves it. And um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like even right now, uh, like you know, I'm I'm something I'm working on is uh, with with my <laughs> with, with with my therapist actually is uh, is vulnerability. Mm. And you know, and so he had me watch talk about it. It's like it's like you know this need to like uh, like. It, like you have to do it. You have to be vulnerable. Yeah. You have to be vulnerable, or else you're never connected to anybody. No. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And you have to put yourself out there, and even if you're gonna get rejected, and that's the point, and that's what vulnerability is. All this stuff, right? Yeah. And correct. so, like, but you gotta put yourself out there. Mm -hmm. You gotta put it out there because this is really good stuff. This is yeah. very interesting. And there's other people out there that all have these degrees, and there's pit, there's friends of theirs who are interested in this stuff, and then we have friends who are in the we have some friends within liberal arts. Uh, like who love this stuff, you know, we like the liberal arts, you know, kind of, right? You know, we, I like yeah. it, not as much as the arts, you know, yeah. sorry, liberal arts, not, <laughs> not, not nearly as cool as, as the arts, but liberal arts, you know, it's kind of interesting. Yeah. Um, uh, like, no, I like it a lot. It's like second tier to, yeah. art, to art. All right. It's like very much a second tier. Yeah. All right. All right. Um, <laughs> it is. Yeah, it is. It is. It just is. Um, you know, it, it just is. Um, but um, that's why I don't like those guys then. <laughs> so, no, but it's really interesting. So you talk about the experiential domain of, of this and why people paint. I never really understood that. I never understood why you painted this. Yeah. Why, why, why did you do that? Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. And why, why you did that? <laughs> um, uh, and so... Um, so why you why, did that? Why did you paint this? <laughs> why did you paint this? <laughs> it's like a caveman comes in and he looks like, why you paint this? <laughs> right? Um, like, you know, and it's just like, <laughs> why? <laughs> and uh, this? You paint this now? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, my God. Um, no. <laughs> So, um, it's very interesting. I never understood that. I had to, I had an assignment when I went to college, uh, where I had to go out and I had to go to the museum. I went to a college in, uh, around Philly, um, and I had to go to the Museum of Art. Um, what's it called? Yeah, the, what's that Museum of Art? The Modern Museum of Art? No, it's not modern. It's the Philly one. It's the oh, museum. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, the, well, the Rocky Steps. Yeah. Um, I'm stupid when I'm, when I'm on live. So it literally cuts out half my brain power, but uh, I, you know, I went there and I had to uh, exam the medieval art exhibition, and I hated all of it. I just couldn't get it. It was so depressing. Yeah. Medieval art, and it, I just didn't connect with it at all. And I looked at it, but then I eventually did come around to kind. Of, I say that, like, it just didn't feel good being in there. I remember not feeling that good. But then I eventually like like looked at the colors a little deeper, and I was like, oh, this is something. And I'm not really a big art, I'm not like a huge um, fine arts, traditional art person. I still like it more than the average person, more than the average per people people yeah. that we bear, <laughs> you know, people that we probably hang out with, you know, uh, that we don't hang out with, but we have friends with, right? Like more than, you know, I like that stuff, mm -hmm. kind of, but like, if, like, I'm not like with a fine arts person, I'd just be like, I don't really get it, like, yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. you know, like I'm not at your level, okay? But like I went in, you know, it's kind of interesting seeing the colors, but I still didn't get it. Why would you do that? Why would you paint Jesus? Yeah. You know what I mean? And um, it's very interesting. It's like the stories and and like um, it, it's kind of it's kind of cheapening to say this, um, and I don't mean it in this way. And but it's it's unfortunate, like that that if, if anybody would interpret this the wrong way. But you know, I have all this, you know, we're, look at us with what we're wearing, you yeah. know, and what we. Eat. What, what kind of our kind of our stories are, right? Mm -hmm. Stories, I have, uh, you know, I have manga sitting right there, like My Hero Act. I, you know, I'm trying to collect volume ones of things. Yeah, so okay. I, have, um, I have that, I have Dragon Ball volume one, I have um, Attack on Titan volume one, right? Yeah, um, you've always been like a collectible kind of guy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah go ahead, shut your freaking. <laughs> yeah, always been a collector. No, um, yeah, um, but. <laughs> I'm not. Uh, I apologize. That's why he's saying that. Uh, that's very funny. Um, 
but it's so funny, you know, I go to Comic Con, you dress as the thing, you know, and you, and it's like, it's like, it's like a cheap version of religion, is what that is, what yeah. all of it is. Like, yeah. all, look at the shirts we wear, and like all this stuff, and um, our friend who's streaming live right now, Nick, um, he said to us, um, he's like, he's like, you guys got, like, you know, you guys brand, yeah. and I'm like, this is me. Like, but I do know, I do realize that I'm creating a brand, like, when I'm doing this. Like, I yeah. want the brand of John, even if I'm not on camera, the brand that's out there, it's like, I want people to, know, like, no, this is who I am, and I want to connect with other people who are, who get this. Do you get it? Yeah. And it's kind of like a cheap religion, right? And it's not, it's cheapening to think of it that way, but I think it's in the same part of your brain. Yeah, I think it's so. It's like something sacred. Yeah, yeah, yeah. oddly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, like, un-mundane, if that makes sense. Like, yeah, interesting. What's the opposite word of that? It's like... Hmm. Extraordinary. It like rhymes with mundane. It's like postane or something. It's like, I don't know, there's some word for it. <laughs> postane, I don't know. It's like a stroke album. It's gonna come out. Postane. But yeah, I mean, like, you know, there's the whole thing, like, art for art's sake, mm-hmm. right? And, and like, you mentioned the Philly Museum. Mm-hmm. Like, all these museums, like, they didn't have museums, like, where they'd hang up, like, mm-hmm paintings and had sculptures, you know, mm-hmm. uh, and, like, people painted these things, like, as, like, to serve a function, right, you know, they did, and I think that it's kind of, like, we've kind of lost that a little bit, like, because now we're just, like, let me paint this so I can hang up in a museum, <laughs> you know? okay, okay, right? interesting, interesting, yeah. okay, okay, so, all right, all right, let's break this down. Let's paint this so it goes up in a museum. And then what was the reasoning before? Before that? So to like propagate like you know, a message. A message, right. You know. To practice your faith. Right. To yeah. propagate a message. Yes. Yeah. To 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 so before it like it's kind of a cheap thing now. It's like faith it's like it's like look at me. It's rather before it's about faith and your ser- a service to your thing. Yeah, yeah. And and that and like why do we do it? Why am I doing this right now? Like why are we doing this? Like why it's like it's like look at me. Yeah, yeah. Look at me. Look at me, you know, and it's like it's like the religion of me. Yeah, yeah. And it's gross and it's not satisfying, and then people and we get, all get depressed and stuff, and we don't feel good, right? <laughs> and like, and uh, that's so fascinating. Yeah, because museums are like it's a preservation of, you know, this old world stuff. Yes. You know, like the point isn't to like paint something, so, so it can end up there. You know, mm-hmm. like it's. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. It doesn't serve like a function, you know. Mm-hmm. Not that that's bad. It's just no, it is. <laughs> it is though, right? It is. It's not bad. That's that's very inflammatory. <laughs> it could be. Could be. Could be. I said it was okay. <laughs> <laughs> that maybe is a little bad. It's a little bad. You know what it is. You know it's a little bit shallow, and it's and it's not satisfying, and something is not right about it, right? And it's, um, yeah. You know, and I, yeah, it's interesting, like, look at the, the stuff I have, oh my god, it's like I'm sacrilegious to Zelda right now, I actually hung that up upside down. Oh my god. Oh my god, wait, is it upside down? Let's check this thing. Oh my god! <laughs> um, uh, you know, uh, I think that's fascinating. All of this is really interesting ideas, and you usually talk about this with people, right? Oh yeah. <laughs> Family, friends, right? Yeah, right, right, right. Yeah, I have this thing too where family, family and friends always really want to listen to me talk about the meaning of life and what that means and to ruminate on it yeah, for yeah. a while and meanings of things <laughs> and significance of things. They like it a lot. They like it a lot. Even and they like it especially. They like the jokes around it. Like yeah. even you know they like it. You know they like you know they love it. Yeah. People love it, right? It's great. Yeah. It's great. They all love it. Nobody, everybody hates it. I talk about it at work all the time. Oh, <laughs> work. Yeah, yeah, they love it. They're like, you don't get any looks, right? Um, uh, though, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I think that, you know, even, I think that there's people I'm sure in my life that, that could, like, the people who are in my life now probably who can have this, who can have these conversations that I just don't get a chance to just because I, I, you know, like, I, that I, it would just take away from the relationship I have, like, where I have to do something work related with them or something like that. But I, I think they're all smart enough to handle this. Yeah. That's, kind of, that's what it is. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like it's like they just weren't interested and cur- intellectually curious in that way, right? And maybe went to like have a, went to liberal arts 
you know, college or something like that, so where they're interested in that sort of thing. Yeah. Um, that was inflammatory. It's called smart, but it's it's uh, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> it's intellectually curious. Might be smart. That's smart to me. I don't know. Yeah. You know what I mean? Even if you are, you're not like quick or something, to be intellectually curious is intelligent to me. I don't yeah, know. I think is so. It, right? I don't know. Sure. I think so. Sure. Yeah. Sure. I like it. <laughs> I like it. Yeah. I do. Stokes think then they're pretty smart guys. Do they? Yeah. Do they? What what role does things like Stoicism and Greek schools of philosophy have to do with religion? Are they religion? And do did you have to study them? Uh, I did study them. Even a cursory way. Okay. Yeah. Um, I feel like a lot of Christianity was influenced by the, the Greek philosophy. Like it was kind. Of, it's kind of like um, so for people who don't know uh. Judaism came before Christianity, mm -hmm. and their book, which was the Tanakh, is the Old Testament. Tanakh. Yeah. Not Torah. The Torah is a part of the Tanakh. The Torah is the first five books in the Old Testament. In okay, the oh, Tanakh. Tanakh. Yeah. Okay. We Christianity just rebranded it. Okay, let's break this down now. You said the Torah is the first five books of the Tanakh. Yeah. Do uh, do those who practice Judaism, Jews, read the entire Tanakh? I don't think it's a requirement. Do but they, why don't they talk about Tanakh? Why do they only talk about the five first five books so much? Why do I hear Torah so more often than I hear Tanakh? I've never heard Tanakh. Uh, Tanakh, because okay, because Torah is really just the story, you know, like the what Moses went through, you know, and and a Abraham and stuff, and the Tanakh like. There's just a lot of like hymns, you know, and like songs and stuff, which is just doesn't really apply to the like mythology of mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. um, so it doesn't service the plot, I guess. Oh. Um, yeah, I mean, it's important stuff, but you really just need to know those first five books because it's like Genesis, you know? Okay. Like the whole creation story is there. It's, it's like really the meat and potatoes of. You know what they believe, and the la and the latter after the five, it's not the meat and potatoes because no, no, there, it, it is okay, but not. It's like the veggies. It's just like oh, really? It's, yeah, I mean, it's important, but why though? Because, like, it doesn't. The first five is really the bulk of like the creation and like the lineage mm -hmm. and kind of the most important part. Okay, and then. The rest is important, but it could it's like supplemental to those first five. Oh, it is. Okay. Yeah, interesting. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. It's like okay, and that's not as, and so that's why they don't talk about it as much. They don't talk about Tanakh. I've never heard that term before. Oh, Tanakh. yeah. That term. That, yeah. 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 <laughs> Too many insights. Imagine it would probably be better if we were if this was an objective conversation and we didn't know each other. But yeah, that term, I know, right? That term. That term. Yeah. Um. Also not, because we're comfortable and we're actually, we, we're enjoying, we enjoy each other's presence. Um, that always helps. That helps. Um, uh, but, uh, interesting. Okay, okay. So you go to the, um, okay, so you go to, this is really crazy. I'm so glad that you're telling me all this stuff. And I'm sorry that I haven't given you the chance before to really talk about this stuff. Okay. But um, I'm gonna blame you too, though. No, yeah. I think we both took, gotta take blame in this because you gotta put, put, push it out, and I gotta act, talk more. And I'm, you know, I I want you to talk more. I just want you to. I think you deserve to because this is fascinating stuff. I had no idea about any of this, and you're helping me really understand so much right cool. now. Okay. Yeah, like so the art piece was kind of crazy, but even just like the nitty gritty of this stuff. Okay, so there's Tanakh. They follow the first five books. We, um. I was raised Christian, so I say like we, right? Okay, so we like as Christians, like like, would um. So your 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 family's raised Catholic, right? My family was raised in the Seventh Day Adventist school of Christianity. Yeah. And then um, I converted to Catholicism when I was in high school. So there was all of that. There's that. And I noticed this adherence to the Bible, as a whole, as a whole, is really important to Christianity. We don't just pay attention to a couple books. Yeah. They're not like. 
they're like, yo, this whole thing. Mm-hmm. That was, it's a lot more digestible to pay attention to five bucks, five bucks of it. It is, yeah. yeah. Then to think about the entire thing. That's what's been so daunting about reading the entire thing. I know, and it's so thick. Yeah. It's a lot, right? Yeah, it is. It's a lot. It's a lot. I wonder if it was like this, oh, God. Um, like, if it was the size of a normal, like, like you know, because I, I wrote, when I was a kid, we used to sleep with a Bible underneath the under, underneath the pillow, like to help with your dream, like so you don't have bad dreams or anything like that. That's what my my mom would tell me, and uh, uh, and uh, so it was always so compressed. So I had the New Testament mm-hmm. usually, only one of them, but there were, the text was just so small. I wonder if it was just in like a text size of like a like a like a book book, yeah, like you know, like one of my books over there or something. Like <laughs> it was just like how big it would be. It would it be kind of big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. Like if it was like in a normal, like just a nonfiction or fiction book, someone picks up. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Like, a, like really, like a Barnes Noble, like release, like probably. Yeah. 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 Like it'd be big. It'd be big. It'd be big because it's yeah. small. Yeah. It's small. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's really interesting. Yeah. It's a lot. I wonder how many words it is. I just would like compare it to something I just know. Uh, like yeah, yeah. I'm thinking like Brothers Karamazov. Okay. Like, that's like. Oh whoa! Like close to eight hundred pages. That's a that's a <laughs> yeah. That's a meaty meaty little book. The, the whole undertaking, yeah. Yeah. Brevity, um, huh? That's not <laughs> Dostoevsky. Oh, that's not no. a strong point, huh? Well, actually, or maybe it is. It, for one book. <laughs> <laughs> Which book? Uh, Notes from Underground. That's like a hundred pages. <laughs> yeah, that looks funny. That book is pretty funny. What? I'm a, what was that first line? Like, I'm a oh. sick, wicked man. <laughs> I'm crazy. I'm, I'm crazy. crazy. I'm nutty. I'm a crazy Russian nut. <laughs> That's what he said. Oh. <laughs> is that what he says, that? I mean, in yeah, so many yeah. words, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like, I'm a, I'm a wicked man. I'm a... But then he starts calling out people. He starts calling out the person. Ref- yeah, you ref- like, he's real, like, real in his own, it's all fiction, but, right. like, it feels so real because it's like this diary entry. Right, but madman. Yeah, and he's talking to like us. It's like he's talking to the reader. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> he's it's just like, like reading Jer- some kind of manifesto. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. He's just like Jerry down the street, <laughs> like didn't even say hi to me the other day. Like that's. <laughs> <laughs> and I just wanted to push him. Like <laughs> oh my god, is that what it says? More or less, yeah. Oh my god. Okay. And he's just bitter and like doesn't say anything. And he just like holds on to this like resentment. Okay. Yeah. Jerry like, Mother's down the street and say I don't even say Yeah. I don't know. The woman comes in and then he, he just gets at her. You're stupid. Yeah. I invite you, but you're the dumb one. <laughs> right? That's yeah. what he does, right? As I uh, listened to the crash course on it. Yeah. And, yeah. I, and I was like, oh. He's yeah. basically like that kid who got bullied in school mm-hmm. and, and he's just like wants to get revenge. You know? Oh yeah, we all know that guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh god, it's a little like that. that it's a little sick. Uh, what do you? He, um, like fan, he like fantasizes like. He's orthodox, Torstoyevsky. Orthodox yeah. Christian. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's. Uh, I I noticed that that's different. They have different holidays. They celebrate Christmas at different times as us, right? Yeah, they have a whole different calendar. I'm saying as us, it's just how I was raised. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, just yeah. Saying, like, he's, I'm just like a that's cultural, a, like you know, wow. co- yeah, a cultural Christian. Yeah. Very like Western of us to say like that too oh yeah, yeah. super westernized I, but also it's a, a part of being indian mm, is like yeah. is like people ask you like what kind of indian you are and they're like jonathan justin <laughs> they're like they're like what is that <laughs> they're like well, who are you and like you like they're like you're not a hindu like you're not hindu like are you are you like christian indian yeah and like even if you're not religious like a like a pr- practicing actively practicing you have to say something because they need to, like, their framework of understanding of, like, are you, like, a Western person, or are you, uh, like, us, like, right, you know what right, I mean? right. or are you, what, or me, or they could be Western as well, like, Western influence, right, and, like, so missionaries came to, like, where my mom mm-hmm. was, right, she converted when she was, like, like, 15 or something, yeah, right? yeah. or 14, very young, pretty young, pretty young, and, like, early teens, if not 12, but yeah. or something like that, yeah, and, um, but people understand that, like, that's a different thing and you grow up differently and you do have different practices and like you do you live a different life like yeah yeah and so they need to understand like what the life is so like it, it's important for like when i say like uh, like it's just like it's a, it's a part of like what i tell people too like like if, it, if someone who's indian asks me like oh like like why don't you do this like it's like um no, like oh did you follow this when you got married like no oh because you're this and yeah, i was yeah. like oh it's like because you're western <laughs> <laughs> you know and it's like oh okay 
<laughs> yeah. Right. It's like, but you don't say that. You say like, oh, I'm a culture, I'm a Christian. Right. Yeah. yeah Christian. Yeah. You have to, you have to specify. But yeah, no, it's a, it's interesting the, the what we learned with, and I got away from the point, but this is very fascinating stuff. Um. So, um. Like the Greek philosophy, right? Yeah, the Greek philosophy point. So why do you have to study that if it's just if it's just a philosophy? If it's not related to, because there are no gods in any of the Stoicism stuff. No. So here, okay. It's, I'm glad you brought that up. Uh, so I mentioned Judaism just because it was like the precursor to Christianity. Yeah. The kind of like the foundation, like the backbone. Oh, no, I got really off track. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, yeah. This is good. I, getting off track is good. No, no it's, it's not. not. No. Okay. <laughs> it's not. It's away from you. No, it's uh, bad. Um, uh, so, yeah, Judaism is like the foundation of Christianity, right? Sure. It's like the first layer of the triple layer cake. Mm-hmm. And... Like, Christianity was kind of like, okay, like, okay, like, crap, they're not buying all this Jewish mysticism stuff, like, like let's add some, like, Greek philosophy into oh, the Oh, really? Like, like, with introducing Christ as, like, this figure of, like, peace and, like, like, mor- like morality and, and, like, being practical about things. Pragmatic. Yeah, pragmatic about stuff. Mm-hmm. And, and, and it kind of blended these two things, like this Jewish mysticism with like this, it, it is more like, like, I mean, Christ as a figure also kind of fits in with the Old Testament stuff, but... Uh-huh, he does. But and not... Messiah. But not really, because like, like, the Jewish hero is supposed to be like this, like David type guy, like, oh, I'm a warrior, I'm going to lead an army into hell and vanquish is everything that, oh is that is that a part of the no no no, no, no I'm, I'm that's just, cool that is pretty cool yeah, 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 yeah. No, yeah. no that's the plot of doom yeah it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sure, yeah yeah no um but, but like but it is <laughs> they're waiting for a messiah but not this like peaceful hippie messiah you, you know like not right. this like turn the other cheek yeah, yeah i think about that a lot yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. and so jesus was like this counterculture to that mm-hmm. but like that's why Christianity works so well is because I think like it adopted Greek and Stoicism thought you know to to the like it gave context to this mysticism you know like to 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 the Old Testament right like, right, right it like made it digestible into into this like oh okay like think about the yeah yeah so. um like that's not dissimilar to um actually that I think about this it's uh like um, like Hinduism, right? Right. Um, even like just within Hinduism, like you have like the four Vedas, which is like, oh god. Yeah. Okay. okay. Sorry. Sorry, I thought this is not comfortable. Can we, <laughs> we clean that? I'm uh, uh, it'll it's fine. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's yeah. kind of absorbed in the carpet. Yeah. Get stronger. Okay. Um. Yeah, Hinduism. Uh, it's four Vedas. Four Vedas, yeah. It's like the four, these four books. That's like one Hinduism class in college. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. So I just took South Asian religion, so it was a lot. <laughs> it is a lot. Yeah. <laughs> one class. It is a lot. Yeah. Um, Fascinating. You know, it, they're like super long and like super, like you can equate that to the Old Testament. You've read them? No, no. You've read any of them? No. Well, yeah. You've the read Gita, the Gita, right? The Gita? Yeah. Not, have you read the Bhagavad Gita? That one. Oh, okay. That's called the Gita as well. They they just shorten it to Gita. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I've read little like excerpts and stuff because they were going really fast. Yeah. And the only one I really ever understood through all of those South a- that South Asian religion class was the Buddhist mm-hmm. stuff. That was the only stuff because it was philo- philosophical. It was philosophical, philosophical yeah. and pragmatic in nature. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. yeah. So H- Hinduism kind of did something similar, like before Buddhism, mm-hmm. uh, because like, okay, so again, equate like uh the four vedas to the old testament Mm -hmm. like this just like foundational big long mysticism sure and so like even within hinduism Mm -hmm. they took uh like these like after years a century Mm -hmm. people are like okay like some of that stuff sounds kind of weird you know like let's like let's philosophize what's the word phyllis Philosophy, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, sure. And that they, term. 
that term yet. Mm -hmm. And they came out with the Upanishads or the Upanishads. Oh, that's what that is. Yeah. So the Upanishads is like that digested into something like, oh, let's think about this like like Stoics, you know, like like let's think about this not rationally, but like just give it like this modern context. And like, how do I apply all that stuff to to now? To now, yeah. is does the Upanishads have myths in it? Um, I'm trying to remember. Yeah, I know it's not your it's not your concentration, so it's it's a, it's, it's 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 harder to. No, no, it, they don't. I, no, it, it's it's just like it talks about the myths, and it's just like it, it's pretty much like kind of like what you would read in like 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 Plato's symposium or something. Oh my god, okay. Yeah, yeah. interesting. Okay. Okay. Well, where it's like it takes like these, you know, like it models itself not models itself, it like just thinks about the mystical things. Okay. And, and just and it's it, it's all like there's no stories or anything. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just there it's yeah, right. It it Wow, this is harder than I really don't explain this stuff very often. Mm -hmm. It's hard when you don't practice it. That's what I'm writing it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What you had to do for school. That's right. where I practiced it. Right. You don't talk very often, Justin. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. But you should. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the kind of. Hopefully, that's what you get out of all this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but uh, you get what I'm saying. Like, I do. I yeah, do. Yeah. And uh, and and one thing that. Uh, that I that I and that's why I think podcasting is so one reason I think podcasting is so cool and interviewing is so cool and doing live streams and all that kind of stuff as hard as it is because it forces you to be like online and like really like be thoughtful about what you're saying yeah, and like yeah. and like like be on and inter especially interviewing and talk and just talking and just having it recorded and stuff it just forces you to be a better talker mm -hmm. it does and so a better listener too for me it forces me to be ten times the listener I usually am. Yeah. Ten times, and it's like, whoa, John, there's some problems you got to work on, and it's like, yeah, I got to do it, and that's why I'm doing this. Um, well, me too. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just like, whoa, I can't articulate this cool stuff. <laughs> <laughs> it's um, so so uh, uh, I think that's so fascinating. And what I was the point I was gonna get to, and I think there was another point there. It's like you know, I'm having this book obstacles the way, right? This guy Ryan Holiday is a huge like he's our modern stoic person, right? Yeah, that yeah. everybody talks about, right? And it's. Stoicism is very popular right now. Very popular and very in. Very trendy. Very trendy and in. And um, I like it. There's a lot of it that I like and a lot of authors that I like. People, just a lot of people that I really respect that follow a lot of the Stoic thought and all that kind of stuff. But something that kind of took me away from it was, um, and tell me if like, we get back to the point because I'm just, I'm babbling now because I'm good at filling dead air. Um, but, but like it, this is this does have a point to it. That it. Something that took me away from that stuff. Oh, I remember my question. Very good question. Uh, is um, it, something that takes me away from this stuff a little bit. That I I still like it and I still think it's really helpful. And I read the the Joy of Stoic Living by somebody. That was a good book. It was recommended by the guy who, who runs that Mr. Money Mustache blog and like Derek Severus, the guy who created CD Baby. And so a couple people said, like, read this book. And, cool. like, and they're like, all right, I'll read it. Tim Ferriss is huge on stoicism and all that kind of stuff, too. It's in. It's in. The tech people like it, all right? Something that I do doesn't draw me in is I'm a stories guy, like you. Mm -hmm. um, and I like, like, I like, but like, I like, like, big, like, myths. Like, I like mythology. I, li I like, like, you know, stuff. I like, you know, I love. All kinds of stuff. I love the stories of the Bible. I love stories. I love like a story, true or false, anything. I love a story. Yeah. Tell me a story. I love a movie. I love a story. Tell me something. Tell me about your life. Tell me a story. Tell me what something you did. And that I like that. I don't know whether I learn like you said. You mentioned that you learn better from a story than you do from a a, a text, and I think that's 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 very insightful and interesting. Like in, in its own right, and but there's something also too like just being like flat out and saying yeah, it. Yeah. But there's also something like that. There's some place where you just start like you can just consume it, and then it goes in one ear and one out the other. If you like, so maybe you kind of need both. Like you just you you read it, and you're like, then you do this, and you go back and you read it again, and then you go back and read the other thing. So it's some you know, um, uh, but there's something boring about it to me. To full like the Greek Greek philosophies, like follow this, mm -hmm. like be a hedonist, be yeah, this, yeah. be that. And I'm like ah. 
I was like, I, I'm like, that's kind of cool. Like, I don't know. I want to hear about Prometheus, and he gave the fire. He gave fire to humans, and he's considered a trickster god. But then he got punished for it. Like, what the heck? This guy gave helped humanity. Yeah. He helped us. Yeah. Like, it's, that plagues me. It like bothers me. <laughs> and then he picks at his friggin' it's liver. Crows or something, right? It's an eagle, eagle. and it comes. Okay. It, it, it picks at it. Yeah. And it kills him, and then it, and then. He got, and he's like, ow, and then it grows back. Yeah. And he, they punish him, and he's taught him as the trickster god. I'm like, why is he the trickster god? Why is that bad? What is that story supposed to mean? And like, what does that mean for me? Like, what does that mean? Does like no good deed go unpunished? Does like, and sometimes it feels that way. And as a person who grew up following a lot of Christian thought, and like still does, like believe in like like you know kindness, 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 kill him with kindness, like yeah. belief, but also seeing how that's really screwing me over in a lot of ways in my life and. I'm not true. Like I'm not. I'm finding out what it means to actually, like, be happy and be like and like feel you know worthy of things and like what true kindness is to yourself first. But like all this oh stuff. My gosh. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean. I, I'm, yeah, you're hitting on something deep, deep, really deep. deep there. Like that's a lot. I had a lot of problems with Taoism, like because of you know, like Taoism talks about like just going with the flow of like. Mm-hmm. and not resisting and it's like oh you don't want to you know if you're in a river you don't want to like s- s- swim opposite to it right and it's like no you kind of like no sometimes you do sometimes you do sometimes i don't want to like lay down and you know like no yeah it doesn't all have to be comfortable right like first of all the discomfort is what's good i always think about yeah. it this way some of the happiest times people have me and got me and you specifically are playing video games right yeah and what when i always think about this think about a person's face while they're playing a video game they're not uh, this is nothing to do with theology i'm going to get back to my question about it and it, right after this thought but uh like you see a person's face in a video game they're not like ah like while playing <laughs> but there's something cool because they're they get the goal and they feel good but there's a lot of like ah oh, ah oh, i couldn't uh, get yeah. adversity adversity adversity. Yeah. adversity games are adversity and I notice that as my life gets more difficult, like I, I have less, I make less time for games, and I cra- I still crave them. I still crave the type of adversity that a game gives you, um, but I make less time. I have less time to play them, and I, and like I, I find myself just naturally gravitating, like if not gravitating towards my Xbox One, but I do love it, my Xbox One a lot, <laughs> and I want you to bring your control control. You have an Xbox One controller, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I want you to come over because I have Game Pass and I want to play Dragon Fighter Z with you and I want to play Guilty Gritty. Anyway, is that what that is? That's it is. Oh man, it's awesome. Dude, I got Dragon Fighter Z. We can play it right now. I thought it looked different. No. Uh, no. Well, <laughs> I thought it looked like a little like router thing. Um, That's the ones that don't have the CD. This oh. one takes CDs. Um, okay. uh, shout out to the wife for getting, for getting me an Xbox One. Uh, I. I love that thing, but I noticed that adversity. But you see, the person doesn't really enjoy. It. But like, I think of video games as like, like, like saying so much about us, right? And not like being just, just like this addictive. Ever like people? I, I, I don't even know how a person get. Addi- Can do you know what I mean? Like, I don't even understand how a person get addicted to video games. I realize it's a thing. Mm-hmm. Do you not even? Do you not get it either? Not really. No. It, I could never get addicted to a video game. No. Ever. Or like, movies or anything or TV <laughs> like that. Kind of gambling. Thing. No. But no, 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 I couldn't. I could see it though. I, I could see that one a little more. Video games though, no, yeah. like video game addiction, people talk about it. People have it. It's very real. Yeah. Right. And it's like probably how people talk about when I talk about depression, they're like, I don't get it. Yeah. Right. 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 right? And they're like, but then they're like, I can't stop playing. Mm-hmm. But like, to me, a video game says a lot about like for someone who, like me, it's like, and you who just play them and have fun, and like it's like, but like also having fun. What is having fun? Like if that's the point of our life, right? If we're like, yeah, I want to have fun, like it's actually a lot of adversity. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. And like uh, accomplishing things and learning a new, like when you learn a new song or play a song or do a podcast and it's hard and you have a conversation that's really difficult and you're like, oh my God, I, I tried to articulate something. Oh, I did it. Yeah. Oh, I couldn't. But still, that was something cool about that. Right. Trying to do it because I, I, I ventured to this new space of articulating things that nobody asked me about. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right. Um, but yeah, that's the that's the whole point of that. There's something to adversity, and there's something about going against the flow sometimes. Though I guess uh, it, there there's just something to it. And uh, what my question was was um, with the stoicism piece, what were the people who w- did stoicism? Was Greek philosophy and the times of the writings of the New Testament around the same time? Uh, the New Testament. 
Because mm. you say that with before, influence. Though. Yeah, before. Which one is before? Stoicism? Mm. Yeah, Stoicism and Greek philosophy. Oh, I don't really know the timeline that well. Okay. Yeah, yeah cause, but it was before, though. Because the New Testament is like 6 BC? 6 AD? Are you saying that Greek thought had affected... Because the Middle East is where that stuff comes from, yeah. right? If I'm not wrong, right? Yeah, yeah, right, right, yeah, it is, yeah. right? Are you telling me that there's an exchange of ideas between between uh, Europe and the Middle East, even as far as back then? Yeah, yeah. And, and it's only just spread, you know? Like, it's, mm-hmm. it's spread to, to what we're thinking now. Right, know? I mean, yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 A Colombian and an Indian guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I know. But, yeah, it's an exchange of ideas. For sure. There was at the time, like when they were writing this stuff, when yeah. they were like, the, the, like thinking about this stuff, and like, like, in the times of Jesus, like he could have come across, like he would have maybe heard of the Greeks. Yes. Yeah. What? Yeah. What he would hear about them, he'd be like, oh man, there's that, there's the, the they're thinking about this stuff, <laughs> and it's not that far, right? Yeah. I don't know. I, my geography is really bad. Uh, uh, mine is too, actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Like, what is the distance? What is? I don't know. We don't travel that much, so no. <laughs> so we don't know. But we should um, together, because that'd be awesome. Yeah. Um, I would love to go to the Middle East with you and yeah. have your. I want to go to the, these places, these sacred places. And, oh my god! And, and with you, that's what I want. Going on pil- pilgrimage. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I want to, but I want to experience it with you. Yeah. Right? Like more than I want to go back to the home country of India, which I want to go back with, I want to, I do want to see, but I think that actually sounds more fascinating right now, is doing that with you. Yeah. If I was to be like, yeah, yeah, right? Like, I want to plan that trip. Yeah, and one of our buddies did it. I, I could tell you more later. Oh, really? Yeah. Did the pilgrimage? Yes. Okay. And For, and within what religion? The, in Judaism. Oh. Yeah. See, I want to do all that. I want to follow that. I want to, and, and yeah. Yeah, and it, it got to go for free. Because, oh, that, that, it's yeah. like a right. It's know? a right, right. Yeah. What is that called? What? It's a, it's a name. There's something, a right, that has a knight. has a right knight. I'm just rhyming now. <laughs> uh, it probably is a name. Yeah, I thought there was some kind of, yeah, there's some kind of right. Okay, to go there. And it's a friend of ours, you said? Yeah. Oh. Okay, interesting. Um, but um, we'll definitely talk about that later. Um, do you, uh, you know, I, I love that you're drawn to religion for that reason um, over being drawn to philosophy. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah. that's what gets back to when I talk about the stories and the, like the, the, all that stuff. And yeah, yeah. Even the stories of the saints that happened, like that really, that happened that have like, you know, a lot of stuff mm-hmm. like, and that's not disputed and all this stuff. Right. Um, or like, just like, is it a myth? Is this like, there's no like conversation about it. Or it's just a thing. These things happened, right? Like they had yeah. people, they were tortured, they were this, they were that. Mm-hmm. Those are stories. I, I, I love them. I love yeah. the stories. I love the stories. I, I love the practice of it. That's why I was always... I'm not as interested to have the philosophical conversation, have someone on here uh, with a, I, I will have, I, I would have someone with a philosophy degree on here. I would happily yeah. interview them. But uh, I think it's interesting that my best friend went down the, the religious route. I think that's way more interesting yeah. Yeah, for me. Because cause I got, actually, that friend, uh-huh. w- when I told them that I was going to pursue religion, uh-huh. they were like, oh, well, why not just choose philosophy? And it's like, no, you know, like, as in, like, oh, they're kind of the same thing. But it's like, it's really not. Is this a friend of ours? Yeah. Is it really? Okay, oh, wow, okay. It's a very close friend of ours. Oh, wow, interesting. Okay, yeah. interesting. Of ours? Yeah. Okay. I don't even know who you're talking about. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. we'll talk later. Um, but, yeah, uh, and so it's, it's so different, you know, and, and, and if you're just going to talk pure philosophy, it's interesting, but I'm not going to. Is it? <laughs> like to an extent. To an extent. To an right? extent. To an extent. But yeah. it, like, no, I like what you talk about. It, it's all like theoretical stuff. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. And it's, it's all like, like math. It's like it, yeah, 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 it's all up here and like yeah. And yeah, I get it. I'm up here too, but I'm a little lower than that maybe. I'm just <laughs> nah. I don't know. Nah, that's too abstract. It's too abstract. That's abstract. I, if I'm going going as far, oh, let's stop recording. Um, um, that's okay. I'll just like um, I just want cream of the crop philosophy. You know, I don't, I don't need to get into, like, all these other fantastical ideas that these, like, weirdos have. I don't think it's fantastical at all. I think it's, like, really, like, theoretical abstractions, like, super abstractions, like, like, level of, levels of thinking that are not connected to me, because I am a guy who likes stories. Like, yeah. I like 
story of Goku versus D- D- Cell and dies, and then story, and then yeah. Gohan comes to get. Oh man, that's that kind of there's something. <laughs> oh, what is that story? That's kind of whoa, whoa, whoa. Dad dies, then son defeats. What does that mean? Wow, there's some stuff there. Yeah. Uh, uh, I love that. I love that shit. <laughs> we can curse on here, by the way. We can say that. I can love that shit. Like you just. You curse in a way that's like professionally acceptable, you okay. know, like that stuff that people say at work. Yeah. You ever hear that people curse at work? Where yeah. It's like professionally accessible. It's yeah. like Gary Vee stuff. Yeah. You ever hear him curse? Okay. He's like, yeah, f this man, <laughs> and it's like, it's like, all right, I get, it. I get that this is not cool anymore. <laughs> I know. It's like not even a thing. Yeah. No. Um. But stories, man. Like, what stories, dude? There's a reason Jesus spoke in parables. Parables, right? Like, he, he wasn't just like. Hey, like, stop! Do, don't do this thing. Like, like, it had like some elaborate like yeah stories, you know, like right. The prodigal son, you know, like yeah. oh, this kid, you know, let me tell you about this thing that happened. That this, this, you know, none of this happened, mm-hmm. but that's the way he wanted to relay all this information. Yeah, and, and it's just not it. It, 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 like, invites more critical thought. It does. Yeah, you know? I, I, it just, it, it doesn't, it, I doesn't even just invite, it just it draws people far more in. A story draws people in yeah. far more than a, because, than a user manual does. <laughs> yeah. Right? <laughs> right? And that's what I feel like stoicism is a little bit. Yeah. And all the Greeks, and that's why I don't connect to it as much, because I'm, this is what, it goes back to me being kind of someone who can be very religious and ha- is a bit of a religious person. Um, is that I'm not taken by it, and mm-hmm. um, I could be taken by a story. I could get drawn into a story and stuff like that, and taken by it and feel it. Dude, you you, you go to the movies, right? Like, oh, I love you, movies, you yeah. believe everything that's happening on screen. Right. You're there. Right. You're, you're there. there. You're you're like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're experiencing that. Right. Like. And I love the movies. Yeah. I love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's uh. That's. That should show you right there, you know? No, it does, it does, and I always thought that was interesting that you always were like, John, it's like amazing that you could go to the movies and you just get like wrapped up into it. Yeah. And I th- that actually wraps up into like my hypnotizability versus your hypnotizability, which it does, yeah. like, like scientifically, right? I always think about like what you were saying about philosophy versus, you're talking about like, like religion, um, and it's like, it's like, you, like I didn't always, I'm just saying, like I always, I compare like abstract thought to, to this, like, I, maybe I just have, have this thought now. It's like math versus science. Mm-hmm. It's like, oh, yeah, I want to hear, t- ha- talk to a biologist on here. Right. Uh, do I want to talk to a mathematician about what factorials are? Probably not. <laughs> yeah. Factorials are fascinating. No. No. Sorry. Well, tell me about this bird. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, you can relate it back to your own life. Yeah. I don't know. I, like, I want to hear about a bird. Yeah. <laughs> this is a lot more interesting. Is it not true, right? Yeah. Like, like, why would you do that? Why do you just study philosophy? Can I just, I, I wish I could, oh man, I wish I could just tell that person, man, I would say something not nice to that person who said that to you, but I would want to say a lot of not nice things to when people say, when people are very dismissive of um, religious studies. I think it's fascinating. I, I, um, I just know, uh, I just think it's really interesting that you chose to go down that path. I really want to dig into more of the, some of the stuff you your knowledge and just like your knowledge base about this stuff is so fascinating to hear about. I shouldn't look down on. Uh, uh, I gotta talk into the mic. Um, that's me. Uh, so, um, you know, you went down this route to study philosophy to so, no, you didn't. Uh, to study that to study religion, um, and you didn't pick. You're a very creative person, and you didn't pick a creative uh, thing to study, like music, studying composition, Mm -hmm. right? Um, And you like writing songs, so um, why? Um, Well, studying, I felt like studying religion would kind of give me a better understanding of humanity, or... It does, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. like, okay, studying music, Mm -hmm. I feel like I know... 85% 85% of what I need to know to, I mean, that's pompous, but like, mm-hmm. I, I can just as easily, 
I don't know. Like, I, I don't... I could learn that in a non-professional setting. Sure. And be fine. Mm-hmm. Um, but... Or a non-academic setting, I mean. Um, mm-hmm. But, yeah, with religion, it just felt... It's like it, the big win. The what? The big win. You... You're trying to understand all. You're trying to understand the world. Like right. you're trying to understand everything, right? Right. 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 right? And you're like, okay, I only have. I've heard this kind of concept from Tim Ferriss the other day. You only have. You're in. Think about your. You have to think about your life in this way. You have six bullets. Your 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 life is a revolver. You have six six things. You could shoot. You know. You could shoot for this goal. Shoot this goal. Shoot this goal. Six bullets. Mm-hmm. And you're like, like yeah. sure you want to study composition and art and fine art and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but you're like, no, I need to go for the big win here. I'm aiming towards understanding. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I've i been just more of a thinking guy. Not really, like, so much this, like, you know, executing anything guy. It's just, mm-hmm. um, I, I like to think in broad strokes. Mm-hmm. And, and I don't really do well with like the, the little nitty gritty details as much um unless it's just filler you know I'm like telling a bad story and I'm like mm-hmm. you know whatever but yeah just um mm, yeah it's hard to put into words that's right uh you do yeah you do like like you, I like stories too. I love stories. Uh, love. Yeah. And so it's 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 kind of like studying like the most important stories yeah. ever told. Influential. The most influential stories ever told. Yeah. The most influential stories ever told. And why were they influential? And what is this? And that kind of goes back to that's what I thought you were gonna to go to the creative route, like with but you're talking about like you're talking about someone's religion as their creative expression of life and like all this kind of stuff. Yeah. Which is something. That's something else. But like, and, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and and it like feeds into like um, my love of reading. You know, um, right. Fiction. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's because stories. Because stories. 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 Like stories. Yeah, right. 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 So it just kind of goes hand in hand. Right. And why I get, I like I read a lot of nonfiction, and I get kind of bored. I like a part of me is empty, a little bit. When I'm done, when I'm reading it a little bit, like I'm still like I, I it's easy to j- digest, but I still crave the comic book. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. I crave it, like crave it, like it's still like oh man. I know at some point that I just need to buckle down and just give myself some time to just finish this freaking manga. You know what I mean, or something. Yeah. Or just sit there and just read the story. You know what I mean, or watch this movie. Mm-hmm. Um, or something. You know, but I love hearing a story too. I love oral like. Tales, like, uh, yeah. like, you know what I mean? I like that kind of stuff. Like, I love hearing it. So, um, it's harder to connect with the, the written text, but, like, when someone's just telling me a story, yeah. like, this is the parable of this or something, like, no, nah, I'm, I'm listening, mm-hmm. <laughs> you know? And so, and that's traditionally how it was told before, and because there's less people to tell the stories now. Yeah. You know, so. Um, yeah, it being passed down word of mouth is insane to me. Yeah. Like, all these generations of stories. You know, before anything was even written down. Right, before this technology of books. Yeah. That's why, like, I was, like, listening to Neil Gaiman's um, uh, Norse Mythology. Oh, And cool. he, he says, uh, yeah, have you ever read it? L- look at it? What? That book? His, his, that, his book, Norse what? Mythology? No, no, no. Yeah, you probably like it. Um, he was saying that all the, like, he's like, I want, like, these were oral tales and we're missing a lot. Mm-hmm. We're missing a crap ton, Right. Um, what you should do is take, um, is take these stories that I'm telling you about, um, about Odin and about, uh, about Thor and about Loki and, um, retell them, tell them, go to a campfire, tell your friends and tell them, tell the stories, retell it. Yeah. That's what it's, that's actually what the story is meant to be. Mm -hmm. These are meant to be like bedtime stories or like, you know, campfire stories or just sitting near their friends like, you know, here's the parable of this, like, you know what I mean, or here's the tale of Thor and his hair, yeah. you know what I mean, and, um, you know, and, like, that's the way it was meant to be, you mm-hmm. know what I mean, and I was, I, you know, that's so, that's so fascinating to me, that, that that's, that route, I, is, 
is the reason that you're so fascinated with um, the Abrahamic religions because of their amount of influence? Oh, yeah, totally. Yeah. Because I'm more drawn to the myth- to, to, to myth- mythological uh, things, like with big monsters and stuff. Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm less drawn to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Only, only but you like it. I love it. Yeah, you yeah. love it. You love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It. Um, it, it just, nobody believes that. <laughs> yeah. So it makes it like less interesting. Right, 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 right. And nobody's buying it. We nobody's got, buying it anymore. But no. people are still. We got. We got to wait for like this new generation of like. Oh, okay. Like, someone just gotta take that information and like repackage it in a certain way that fits some modern context. Yeah. And the Marvel people, movies. The Marvel movies, and it'll pick up steam again. You know. <laughs> Marvel movies. That's what new stuff keeps coming out. You know, it's just like all these like, uh, like new religions, like um, oh really? Like Rastafarianism mm-hmm. or Wicca or the Baha'i faith. You know? Yeah, I don't know much about those. I've heard of them, but I don't understand them. Okay, well, I can talk about them, but they're just there's like new age stuff. Postmodern religions. I don't know. I don't know if that's the right okay term for that. Maybe, maybe, but... Uh, new Age? You, you call them... They're called New Age religions? I'm trying to think. It's like... There's a... But there's definitely an era of them, and they're very different yeah, than, yeah. than, than this stuff. From my cursor... Like, very... Uh, like, not understanding of this stuff. It's like new... Religion movement? Like, N- Interesting. NMR? Okay. New movement? No, Is Unitarianism NMR. involved in, in, in that new religion kind of movement? Yeah. 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 Yeah, and what is what what are some things that make new religion, new the new religion movement kind of interesting? If you think of the na- the name of it or whatever, that's fine. It doesn't matter. But like that term doesn't matter. Yeah. What matters is that or what makes those religions so different than than uh, this one? Because Baha'i like believes in the unification of like all religions, doesn't it? Right. Yeah. 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 Like, all prophets are correct, and all gods point to that's, the one God. That's Unitarianism kind yeah. of stuff too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, what's interesting is that it's being modernized. Like, it's taking all this old myth stuff, mm-hmm. and it's just creating something else, like some jazz fusion restaurant mm-hmm. kind of thing. Like, yeah. Um, I don't like jazz fusion. No. Yeah, it's it's a little... Like, okay, like, take Rastafari, and then it's just... It's like Christianity, but then... <sighs> there's not a whole lot different, but... Th- you know, they, they believe... So they believe in, yeah, they believe in the Bible? They believe in the Bible, but they, like, cherry-pick the Bible. Oh, really? Yeah. And they have their own book? I'm not sure. I'm not sure if okay. they have a holy book. But... Do you just study it in school? Rastafarianism and stuff? Like, slightly. Okay, slightly. Like, it just has an afterthought. Okay. But, um... Th- there's, like, this guy... I forget his name. Like... Sort of this, like, whatever. This guy who, like, um, was, like, an Ethiopian emperor or something. Oh, cool. Yeah, and they think that, like, he kind of fits certain criteria uh, from the Bible Mm -hmm. that, like, they think he's, like, this new prophet. Oh, oh, okay. He fits, like, this new prophet role. Like, it's, like... Whoa! Yeah. Whoa! Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. And, um... And so, like, he's going to lead a chosen people, which is, it's like, not even Christianity, it's, like, a little bit Jewy. Uh, <laughs> no, I mean, Christian-y, Christian-y, Jewish-y. Jewish-y, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, where it's like, oh, like, here's this chosen guy who's gonna, like, um, exile, like, these, uh, like basically untouchables like these like, oh okay like, yeah, yeah yeah like exodus yeah 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 mm-hmm. and uh start like new zion kind of thing like wow. this new zionic whatever mm-hmm. um that's gonna encompass like the whole earth mm-hmm. and it's just like you know you're taking some christianity stuff you're taking some i think some islam stuff too oh really yeah some judaism stuff but it's like, oh, but it, it's got like this like Jamaican, um, 
oh. culture inter intertwined with it. Oh, fascinating. Yeah, and it really plays up to like this like oh, an us versus them like I'm, we're being oppressed, mm -hmm. and we found like this leader who's going to like a Moses repeat kind of thing. Mm. Um, wow. Yeah, and it's just it's it's cool because it's like wow. I'm sure it's it's, just, it's, it's it all sounds like, very postmodern to me. It, I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, there just isn't enough time for it to like. I'm sure it's gonna. It's only growing. Okay. Um, uh, especially with like, because they're so pro marijuana too. Like that's oh, it? that's part of like their doctrine. Interesting. Interesting. I, 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 like the Bible, the Old Testament uh, mentions like. Like plant, like some plant or something. Oh, it does. Yeah, like I don't know if you've seen like people um, equate, not equate. Uh, the people like uh, theorize that like mushrooms like started like Judaism. Like people like. I've yeah I've yeah I've heard a lot of things about mushrooms. Yeah 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. And so, Rastafarianism is like no, it's not mushrooms. It's actually marijuana. Mm -hmm. And it's you know and. Okay. Okay. You know whatever. Yeah yeah. yeah. Um, Interesting. Yeah. And so, like... That's cool. The problem with these new religions, though... <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Is it? Is, like, they can be, like, cults. Oh, sorry. They, they can be, like... Yeah. They can transform into a cult. Sure. Um, it just, it's too... They're not as recognized, so they can get away with more stuff. And religion isn't as popular as it once was. Right. Right. Yeah. I feel like this conversation, um, it could have been... It really could be a 10-hour conversation. Oh, we could, yeah. I we mean, could really talk about this stuff. Yeah, seriously. How do you feel about ever having that conversation with me at some point? What conversation? Like, more. Mm -hmm. I think that we need to actually tackle this in a very long-form way. Yeah. That it deserves it. It's fucking yeah, interesting. Yeah, it's Yeah, it's fucking interesting. Yeah, yeah it. That's okay. Uh, remember, it's like Gary V. It's Gary V. Uh, style, right. right? It's okay if he says it, then it's okay. He's still not canceled. He's not canceled, right? I don't know. Gary Vee's still out there. He's telling me that I, that I don't work hard enough <laughs> to make me feel bad about myself. <laughs> that, I'm, what, that I should have a multi-million dollar business. Oh, jeez. Um, uh, but I'm half for. Uh, so, <laughs> um, uh, now, uh, this has been really fascinating. And I... Damn, are we, like, out of time? Is that what's happening? Um, I'd like to wrap so we can be humans together. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, uh, uh, but I think, yeah, and also out of time kind of and stuff, just because I always set up the 8.30 to 10, mm -hmm. kind of, that's the, that's the, that's the show. Yeah. That's the show, right? You know what I mean? That's what the show is. That's what the expectation of what the show is. But yeah, and you want, because you want to talk more. Yeah. Right. And uh, it's funny, you, <laughs> you might not feel <laughs> as much like that if you talk more often. <laughs> but no, people need to give you a chance, but you need to put yourself out there. Vulnerability. Yeah, yeah that's right. You do. You do. You have a lot to offer, Gus, and this is fascinating, and I've learned so much, and I've talked so much during the class, and I, I'm sorry that I have talked so much during this during this no, podcast. It helps me. Oh, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm glad, because um, I really want to learn all this stuff. I love this stuff, Ethiopian emperors and Tanakh, and yeah, yeah. there's, I like, I like these, just like the, this, these stories about how, of talking about Greek influence into this and this and that, and like, just like, telling me just like, this is how this religion works, this is the story of this guy. Yeah. And I want to know actually the stories of the Bible. Like, that's the kind of stuff I want to know about. I yeah. Like, even more and stuff. They're I wanna, cool. They're so interesting. They are really cool. Um, and, yeah, that's the whole point of... You know what would be really cool, actually? Um, you know, I talked about in the beginning, like, the participant observer thing. Like, I think it'd be cool if, like, you know, we have, like, discussions about, you know, religion and stuff, but then we have, like, little field trips where, like, we go and visit, like, a yeah. church. No, let's go to the Newark Cathedral. It's gorgeous. Yeah. I get taken by every time. I have this crushing feeling that it's this feeling of, like, that I'm, that, that it's, I'm being, like, that something's, that I'm going to, that it's going to crush me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Every time I look at it, like this is so big and it's so amazing, it's terrifying and yeah. it's it's power. I feel like, oh my god, it's gonna. I really do feel that. I feel like yeah. I'm gonna. Oh my god, I get scared. I really do. I it's kind of scary. 
But yeah, and I would love. Yeah, you want a field trip, like field trip, right? Like we'll go like some Eastern Orthodox church. I would love that. And like no. I was gonna say sit in, but mm-hmm. there's no pews. You have to stand the right. whole time. And right. It's like two hours long. Wow. But like we could do like little field trips, and then we'll come back and like see what you thought. You know, like let's get mm-hmm. your perspective. Yeah, I got a part, part where I put it on because I gotta be in the museum. <laughs> Right now, I do. That's what I feel like. It's stupid. Yeah. No, but you gotta go. No, and just go to a, a thing and yeah, that and see what you think about it. Right. Yeah. Just so you can learn. I see how you feel about it. Like, feel. Yeah. I'd probably be taken by it. And be like, sign yeah. me up. Sign me up. And then like I go to another thing. Sign me up for this. Sign me up. And I, I just want to end with this note about how my 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 just like my general feeling about religion. I really do think that we lost so freaking much. As humans, and this is like what I want people to know, like if anybody were to ever ask me my feelings on religion, which nobody cares, but I do, and I really care about the fact that I think we lost an intent and up so much by giving it up so quickly and our society just tossing it aside and forgetting the ideas of community and all this stuff. And, you know, people are really unhappy and you're like, okay, well, like, you know, you can't just read like, like, you know, obstacles away, like, you know, like maybe... Like, like, talk, tell me about an obstacle. <laughs> like, no, he does in the book. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, all this stuff. And, uh, you know, it's, there's something very much to it. And there's so many, per, there's so many things. And, and there's so many ways to look at life and understand life. And it's not like a relativistic no. um, point of view. It's just like, there are stories out there. They can help you. Their structure and, and, and the stories of religion are very interesting and very helpful. And also the structure of it and the community aspect and all of these things, there's things that you want to, you know, yeah, you know, you just take, you know, and just, you know, it's like, hey, we, have, we took meditation. It's like, okay. It yeah. just all feels a little empty. It's like, okay, yeah, yeah let's meditate. Right. Uh, everybody, let's meditate now. Okay. Like, wh- like, where did it come from? Like, why are people exactly. meditating? Like, what are you talking about? Like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, oh, like the man, like, tell me a story about a person meditating and what they did. Yeah. You know what I mean? I know. Yeah, it's, uh. It's, it's in, like, bad faith. You know? <laughs> yeah, 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 It's like, yeah. It's like, you're just taking it, you're not, like, like it's not, you're not, I don't, I don't know. I know. You know, and it's like, it's like, okay, then do do something else. And don't call it meditation. Cause yeah, exactly. <laughs> right? Yeah. And, like, it just feels, like, very buzzwordy right now. And yeah. it reminds me of that Radiohead song that you, like, from, that you showed me on OK Computer. Uh, uh, where he's, like, exercise three times. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm depressed. Yeah. What's his What's his name? What's the lead? Tom, Tom York. Tom York. Tom York. Where am I looking? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I love you, Tom. Jeez. Johnny Greenwood, right? Yeah, they they formed a little band by themselves, the two of them. Really? Yeah, it's called the Smile. <laughs> <laughs> I never smiled. It's so brooding. Yeah. It's so brooding. It's really <laughs> I don't listen to them. <laughs> God. Oh man. Yeah, it's just to like yeah. add like a last thing. No, 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 no. Yeah, that's that's a wrap. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Sure. But to pile onto everything you just said. Right. Uh there's this bright eyes quote that I think about a lot. Mm. Um, where he goes, If salvation is what you want, why are you so afraid of God? And like that always just really hit me. Like mm-hmm. why like you know, you get rid of some of the concepts that might actually help your life mm-hmm. you know why why is this what's that expression with the baby in the bath water yes you know that's it yeah yeah oh my god that's so weird i just heard that expression the, yeah. just the other day from tim ferris yeah, oh yeah, really yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. from tim ferris yeah yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. who i think is a, a i mean i totally look up to him as a person and, and um I don't dismiss that he's that he's pr- talked about stoicism and all that kind of stuff because he talks about filling the void and how important important that is and all that stuff and community and all this stuff and um, like when he talks about don't throw the baby out with the bathwater right yeah 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 that's a really good thing and people and I think we have a tendency and I think it's childish in a good way as children to toss everything your parents have by poke holes and all of it yeah but then you have to as like if you reach adulthood you have to um, you have to come back and find out why your parents believed the things they did and why everybody else beforehand did. And yeah. that's how you come to some real, that's how you actually build. 
Because okay. you're just destroying everything that they did before. You're burning the Library of Alexandria, and you're yeah. an idiot. So, yeah, so fuck you. you. And thank so you. fuck you. Oh, and, my God. And, <laughs> oh, that's a mic drop if I've ever heard of it. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> so, it's just, damn. You know? I hate that. Yeah, me too. <laughs> you're fucked them. Fuck them. <laughs> Seriously. It's like... I, I have this feeling. And and you're an idiot. You're, you're an idiot. And you're stupid. If you're just going to dismiss everything that everybody did before, and you're the only one who's right, but you've been around for what? Like, you've been, how long you've lived, and I, I'm like, I don't know what research you've done. It's all wrong. It's all wrong. No, I have meditation, though. I got a meditation. I got this, uh, I got this app. Yeah. This app will calm me down. God. Calm app. Sponsor us, please. Uh, no, you know, I got an app. It'll save me. This app will save me. Yeah. No. This book will save me. I don't know. Go spend some time with people. Yeah. Go learn from them, you idiot. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. I don't know. That's stupid. Yeah. No, it's... Ugh, yeah, there's a lot to say there. There's a lot to say there's there. A, there's a lot to say there. Yeah, but I hope we can do this again sometime, and I hope we could really... I think what we need to do is the next time we do, like, a cabin thing is to... Yeah. Just say, put everything else aside and just say, hey, we have time alone, just the two of us, no, uninterrupted. Let's talk to Solbro. Talk to Solbro, maybe, about it, instead of talking to each other. Yeah. <laughs> um... But no, we would love to have you again on the podcast, old bro. But uh, uh, I did finish this game, actually. Oh, you did? Mm-hmm. Nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. funny. He, he writes good jokes. It's funny. It's a funny guy. I almost want to like, take him up on like one of those workshops. I uh, yeah, was about to, actually. Okay. And I talked to him about it. About doing his workshop. Yeah, it was yeah, yeah. Um, Because I wanted to do it for the next short film I do. I wanted to get it right. But I need to decide about what short film because my Kickstarter wasn't funded. So mm. fifty dollars out of three thousand. Oh <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> On that note, um, you gotta believe in something because yeah. <laughs> you, you know, you're gonna have some losses, guys. <laughs> All right, let's, let's stop this recording. Let's stop this recording. Um, oh, that was good.